Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to get a GameCube and Wii emulator on your computer. This works for Windows, Mac, Linux, literally everything. If you have a computer, you can download this emulator. Now, this emulator I'm talking about is Dolphin 5.0. Now, there is a lot of videos on this, but with the quarantine and all, everyone wants to play all their favorite games. So, I'm just going to try to get this out to people so they can play... GameCube and Wii games and literally any game that they want pretty much because all of it is on Vim's layer. This is what this is the most reliable and 100% reliable best website to get emulators, games, literally everything. You will not get a single virus. I can promise you that. But if we're gonna get a GameCube and Wii emulator, we're gonna go into the vault or no the emulation layer where it says you can get your console emulators. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to scroll down until you see Dolphin, which is right here. It says Game People Wii. You can either click on the Windows X64, turn after that. But I like to click on the home icon so it sends you to the actual website of what it, like Dolphin Emulator. And then you just want to click on this link and it will just download it. It's going to take a little bit because it is a little bit of a big download. Once that happens, you're going to get a WinRAR thing that pops up. I already have. Dolphin emulator, but I think I still have the WinRAR pop-up, so I'm just going to go to my folder and show you guys what you do once you have the WinRAR file. Where's Dolphin? Where's Dolphin? Okay. Well, once you get the WinRAR file, you're just going to want to go ahead and extract that. I'm just going to click on this, and you want to just do, click off of that and click the Extract To button and then extract it to a folder, and then basically you're set to go. With the Dolphin emulator, you have it. In that there's also a bunch of optimal settings that you have to put on based off your CPU and graphics card and how your computer basically runs things because there's certain settings that make the computer run better based off the CPU and all of that I don't really know too much about that if anyone does put it in the comments I'll try to put a link in the description of how all that stuff works for the optimal settings but then once you have the dolphin emulator now you have to get the games which then you want to go back to Vim's layer and go to the vault where you have all of your games July's top 10. I've been playing a lot of Paper Mario Thousand Year Old Door. That's just the person the game I've been playing. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun playing it. And then just to prove that it works perfectly fine, we're gonna go into the file. Or I don't have to click file, we're gonna click open, and then we're gonna go over to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Old Door. As you can see, I also have Super Mario Sunshine, but that game isn't really too fun to play without a controller. You can buy the controller um mod thing to make it how you can play this with a GameCube controller and a Wii controller, I think. But I don't have that, so I've just been playing with the keyboard. And basically, you're not going to hear any sound because, one, I just muted, as you can see from that thing that popped up. And two, I'm using a USB microphone. So all of it's going into the USB mic, and it's not actually going to play any sound. That's not because the emulator is bad or it doesn't work. It's because I'm using a USB microphone, and I don't know how to work it with having no sound. But that, guys, as you can see, we're loading into Paper Mario. Everything's working perfectly fine. It's no lag, no absolutely anything. That's the video done guys, hope you guys did enjoy, if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, we're one off 150 subscribers, see you in the next one boys, peace out.